Welcome back to another season preview on SJHL.ca and across the SJHL social media platforms. And of course, all of our season previews this year and our coaches' conversations are presented by Saskatchewan Construction Safety Association. And today we are pleased to be joined by the head coach and the general manager of the Humboldt Broncos, Mr. Scott Barney. Scott, thanks so much for taking the time to join us today. We really appreciate it. How's it going? No problem, Jeremy. Great to be on here and ready to get some, get some hockey going. Yeah, it's uh, hockey season's right around the corner. But before we look forward to this coming season, let's reflect a little bit about last year. Another successful year for the humble Broncos, finishing second in the SJHL standings and then falling short in the second round of the playoffs. But when you look back at last season, Scott, how do you reflect on it? Yeah, for sure. You got you to reflect on, on the positives and maybe things we got to change and work on, right? And that's kind of the industry we're in we want to get better every day and and every season and and for us our biggest thing in Humboldt here is obviously having a successful team but we, we gauge our success also on on how many players we push to you know at division one and, and, and U sports level and and for us it was a uh, probably the biggest season we had we have five guys with division one scholarships we have four guys moving on to U sports and a few others in, in different different avenues as well so for us that's a that's a big year for us obviously fell short there in the semifinals against Flin Flon but uh, you know it was a good season and uh, you know there's a lot of parity in the league yeah I, I was going to touch on that next is the amount of commitments you guys had this past year I mean since you took over it, it's it seems like each year it's just getting more and more I mean what contributes to that I think a lot has to do with the, you know what the culture in our room uh, the philosophies we bring maybe as as, as a staff uh, you know, I think our players that uh, move on to the next level are really prepared. And I think universities want guys that are prepared when they go there. They don't have to put that extra time and effort into it. That when those guys uh, step into their programs, they can adjust. Uh, they're on their feet flying right away. And I think that's uh, been a big thing for us as far as getting recruits that universities are believing in, in our program. Uh, for us, uh, players that have, have, have got commitments are the ones that, that sell our program. And, uh, you know, that keeps these younger players coming through the doors here in Humboldt. And for yourself now being in Humboldt and seeing this progress and seeing the culture that you've built uh, also in the, in the off season, it was announced you signed a, a contract extension with the Humboldt Broncos to keep you and your family there. How excited are you for you to continue this journey with the Humboldt Broncos? Yeah, very excited, right? And obviously got to thank the board for that and, and their belief. And obviously, hey, we got a great, great fan base here in Humboldt. And in the end, uh, you're not a good coach if you don't have good, good, good hockey players, right? So I think uh, a lot of credit to those guys that have came through the room here in the last, uh, you know, at four seasons for, for myself and, and, you know, guys into the future that I said earlier that, you know, the players are the ones that sell your program and, and sell your staff. And uh, you can do all the talking you want, but those are the, those are the people that sell it, and those are the ones that keep bringing uh, uh, the next players through the door. And I know from my family's side, they're just ecstatic. They love it here in Humble. It's a great community, a uh, very safe, good spot to raise your kid. And you know what? It's been great for myself to develop as a as a coach and, and as a person that's uh, striving to get to the next level when 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 that opportunity or right opportunity may come. Yeah, no doubt about it. Now, this off season for yourself and, and the rest of your staff, how was it when it came to filling out your roster for the 2023-2024 season? Yeah, it was a lot of work, right? For us, uh, I think we got eight players returning, uh, one guy on the long-term injured list. So we, we have a lot of spots to fill, and our biggest thing is, is filling those spots with players that kind of complement each other. And we got an array of, of, of younger talent coming uh coming through the door. We haven't made many kind of moves, trades kind of in, in the off season. Uh, we kind of like a lot of the younger guys coming, coming through the door here and, and obviously give them an opportunity to see where they're at here through training camp and into exhibition schedule. And, and uh, you know what, there's always those surprises at camp that, that come through the door. And, and our biggest thing is that no matter if you're signed or, or, or unsigned, uh, you know, you got to make this team and that's including, you know, what veterans or young guys and, for us, uh, ice isn't given, it's earned. And no matter, you know, if you're 16 years old or you're 20, uh, you got to earn it every day. And that's been a big part of our program as well. For sure. You touched on the eight returnees. Maybe who's a returnee uh, for the Humboldt Broncos that you expect to maybe take a huge leap in their development this year? Yeah, I think uh, one one big gun for sure would be uh, Maddox Amro. I think an old four left winger or center. I think he's going to have a, a big season here for us uh, going forward. I also think uh, Benjamin Motu, who came into our camp uh, last season at this time, 
was we had two goalies already already committed to, and you know he came on a tryout and pushed one of those out. Uh, one uh, rookie of the week, uh, I think goalie of the month at one point their last season. I think he's going to have a, a big season here for us as well. And obviously we got, you know, I think you got, you know, you got our, our 206s that are committed in Matthew Van Blaircom and Connor Miller. We should have uh, outstanding seasons. And we got some, you know, a big leadership in guys like, you know, Dalen Weagle, uh, Cage Newens, uh, Spencer Bell. So I think uh, we have some good, good, good spots there for sure. So you touched on it. You have eight, re- eight returnees from the last year's edition of the Humble Broncos and a good amount of roster spots to fill. But right now, ahead of training camp and, and prior to the preseason, when you look at this potential roster for the 2023-2024 season, where do you think the strength of this Humble Broncos team is going to be for this coming season? Uh, I, I think we're, we're fairly well balanced, right? And uh, I, I really like our, our, our wingers. We think we were really deep on, on the wing. Uh, I really like a lot of our younger defense coming in here. You know, a lot of them have never played games in, in junior A, but I really like some of these younger guys coming in for us. And I feel our, our defense is going to be strong, even though we're, we're really young. And, and I think Benjamin Moto is going to have a, have a big season in net for us. Right. And I think that's, that's huge, right? You have a good goalie can take you, take you far. And, and I think Benji's really motivated and uh, you know what, it was our, end up being our starter there, to, you know, what, towards the end of the year, took over the net for us and uh, played great for us every start he had last season, right? And uh, looking forward to that and then, you know, fitting all the different pieces in there uh, as well. Finally, Scott, you know, the last two years, you've fallen out in the second round of the playoffs to the Flin Flon Bombers. Going ahead into this season, I know, uh, I'm sure the message is, obviously, you want to try and win a league championship, but what do you think it's going to take for the Humble Broncos to get over that hump this year? Yeah, to get over the hump, right? You got you to gotta find a way to, you know, to get those, those obviously, right bounces, right time, but it's, it's also, also just those little attentions to detail. And, and for me, it's not really about having age in your lineup. It's just about uh, you know competing on a on, on a nightly basis, so that when you do hit playoffs, uh, you, you're ready to go. Uh, you know, I bounce here, bounce there. You can be out. Uh, you know what? I feel we got a great team here, and and you know what? My goal, no matter if we have 20 rookies or or 20 veterans, is is to win win every night and every shift. So I think that's our goal. And if we can start with shift one and and go on to and hopefully playing here in in the last shift of the season to hopefully win a. When, when a you know an SJHL title would would be, would be great here at Humble. Well, Scott, it's always a pleasure to catch up and chat. We really appreciate the time, and of course, best of luck ahead of the 2023-2024 SJHL season. Thanks very much, Jeremy. Looking forward to it.